There's the final whistle, and Monaghan are the new Ulster champions. And there is absolutely no shred of doubt whatsoever about the quality of their victory. The fans come on to celebrate because at the end it is Monaghan who are the Ulster champions. Final score, Monaghan 13 points, Donegal 7. You know, at the start of the year, we we had we had set our sights on getting promotion and winning Division Three. And in fairness, we also said that Ulster title was in our sights. And, and I suppose not many people believe that. But within the group, you know, we, we had great belief, and it's just great to be there today and now looking ahead. So it's, it's brilliant, yeah. It it certainly is. What a brilliant, ah, brilliant. day for every man, brilliant woman, day. and child. Ah, it was a brilliant day. Yeah. You know, there'll be a dance in Billy Brennan's barn tonight. Very disappointed <laughs> with the Monaghan boys singing "Ole Ole Ole." So you think a bit of Kavanagh, <laughs> the, 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 the wink and elbow language of delight. You know, there's anyway. I suppose they were so overcome with right. the moment and uh, a, a brilliant victory, really. And again, you know, as we saw in the down match. Method. You've got to bring method against Donegal. Donegal were sloppy today, all right, but nothing can detract from Monaghan's victory. Comprehensive and emphatic. Malachy O'Rourke came to Derry about 12 years ago. I dare say nobody outside Derry had ever heard of the loop. Johnny McBride and a couple of senior players, Roland Rocks, had asked him to come and take the loop. And within a year, astonishingly, they were the Ulster Club champions. And Ronan Rocks said to me during the week, he said, you know, best man manager I've ever been under. Genius tactically, and we saw in 2008 with Fermanagh, they went to a replay against Armagh yeah. in the Ulster final. They played that heavy blanket defence. They almost beat Armagh. It was agonising the first day. And today, they were ready and they were right. And they simply out Donegal, Donegal. Well, let's, let's look at that. I mean, it, these are great scenes for them, but show us where you think uh, they out Donegal, Donegal. Well, this is a hard edge victory. I mean, they, they conceded the, between the half-back line and the half-forward line. They just let Donegal have possession. They let them take the kickouts. They masked up in their defence. They blocked up the central area. They were on Donegal the way Donegal are normally on other teams. You know, they set it out very definitely. It was very precise and focused. And uh, they simply starved Donegal of room. Donegal weren't able to do the things they normally do. They sat back and they waited for them in numbers. And uh, there was just no way through that central column. Donegal rely on breaking through there. And we saw down. You know, against all the odds again, setting up just the way Monaghan set up today and making it very, very difficult for Donegal. The difference was that Monaghan really meant business today. Now, Donegal were flat, but it doesn't detract from the fact. Classic things like working the ball backwards and then across, probing for a gap in Donegal's defence and then accelerating through it at pace. Mm. They got about six scores like that. I mean, the very first score they got in the game through their, through, what do you call him? Uh, Darren, Darren Hughes. Hughes. Yeah. Darren Hughes, who's a brilliant footballer. The very first score they got, it was moved back very patiently across the pitch. Hughes broke through, stuck it over the bar, and that, that was a repeated feature of the game. And so, make no mistake about it, this was a, a victory conceived by Malachi O'Rourke, who deserves enormous credit mm. for it. And of course, the players were excellent. I mean, Vinnie Corey went to war and Michael Murphy. Vitally, vitally. The fullback never allowed McFadden onto his left foot. He kept him on his right foot. So you'll notice every time McFadden got the ball, he stood outside him, and eventually McFadden was hand passing the ball off. They did their homework, they did it beautifully. Okay. And it wasn't pretty, but it was a brilliant victory. Ulster Bank, your home team, whatever your county colours.